The communication tools needed to run a successful business keeps changing. At KKP Halifax, we're expanding our capabilities to keep pace. We deliver consistent, high quality while meeting promise deadlines. KKP Halifax, a division of the Quick Copy Group of Companies. John Moore with Tricom Thunder, Captain Liam Marshall. And Liam, uh, let's talk about your, your first half to your season. We're at the Ice Jam now in mid-January, but tell me about your first half. Uh, the first half's been going good for us. Uh, it's pretty even between the four teams back home in Newfoundland. Uh, but I think we got to come uh, together more as a group here in the second half of the season. Tell me about your, your first half personally. Uh, my first half's going pretty good, you know putting up good points and uh, whatnot and keep uh, progressing in the second half. What's uh, the type of defenseman that, that you'd like to think you are in that Tricom Thunder lineup? Uh, I like to think I'm one of the top D there on, uh, on the team and uh, someone the boys can depend on back on the blue line when I'm out there with them. So describe, can you describe the player that you, that you feel you are when you're playing at the top of your game? Um, good defensively and um, move the puck well. Got to work more on my uh, offensive skills. Okay, let's expand on that. You want to work more on your offensive skills. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about that. How you're trying to get better in that area? I uh, got to work on foot speed and uh, getting in the play and uh, up in the rush a little bit more. But named to the Newfoundland Canada Games team, youngest player on the team. You're the only underager. Tell me a little bit of what that means to you. Uh, it feels pretty good to be uh, the only underager on the team, and uh, it's going to be uh, going to be fun up in Red Deer, Alberta, with the boys in uh, next month in February, and uh, work hard up there, play, have some fun. What what kind of uh, player do you want to be in that Canada Games team? Obviously, one of the youngest, as opposed to a captain of your major Bantam team. Uh, as the youngest, you know, I'm going to have to work my way into the lineup a bit more, so I'm going to work hard. Be physical, uh, got to move the puck fast like I do here and uh, just play a solid game and hopefully I'll have a good, good bit of ice time. Do you feel you can, with ice time and the opportunity, you can make an impact? Uh, yeah, I feel like I could, you know, just got to do what I do and uh, when I'm on the ice, hopefully uh, make things happen and I should, I should do good. Uh, Liam's a great kid. I've, uh, I've had the pleasure of coaching Liam now for the past four years, so I've uh, been lucky to with, be with the 0-4s now for, uh, for four years and won a couple of Atlantic championships. So Liam is uh, very seasoned now, and, and you know he's he's come a long way from when I first coached him in Pee Wee, and he's uh, he's got a lot of strengths. He's got a lot of uh, upside, and he's uh, he's gonna he's gonna be a good player for sure. T tell me about his growth then. Obviously, you so say you've worked with him for four years, so it's not like we have to take a, a snapshot of a three-month window. Tell me about his growth. Yeah, so back in Pee Wee, I mean, you know, you're 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 supposed to be a little boy. Liam was a, a man among boys back back then, and he still is right now. He's a, he's a big kid. Uh, he's got a heavy shot. Uh, even you know his second year in uh, in Pee Wee, he, he hit the net with his, with a shot, and he scored every time because he, he's just he's got a pro shot right now, which is crazy for a 15 year old. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's come a long way, and he's he's st he's still continuing to grow too. He's got a lot of strength and upside, like I said, right? Liam is a young kid, and he's actually an October baby. So as an underager, he's still almost a year younger, almost two years younger than some of these kids. Uh, for Liam, what we expect from Liam is more of an offensive game. Um, a big asset of Liam's is is the shot. He's got a great shot from the point. He can, you know, he can shoot for the corners. He can he can shoot high. He can shoot low. Whatever the situation calls for. Um, that's one of his biggest assets, and as well, Liam does everything hard. He makes a hard first pass, a really good first pass. Uh, he hits hard, uh, he skates hard, so uh, for a young kid, he plays the game really hard and fits in quite well with the, uh, the kids who are a year older. So, uh, again, you talk about how young he is in, in that roster, but uh, how much responsibility might he be given? Uh, we look at our, our D depth core, and it's, uh, you know, it's... Uh, between one and six, we feel like there's not a big gap between one and six, and he'll be given a, a large role within our team, uh, likely playing on the second power play unit because of that hard shot from the top of the umbrella. And as well, we want him to play every third shift and go out there hard with his partner and give us an honest shift, play hard, and uh, I expect the responsibility given to Liam will be equal to uh, the other 5D. 
I've been around Liam a long time. I've watched him mature as a hockey player, coached him in Pee Wee AAA when he was the MVP of the uh, Pee Wee AAA Atlantics back in St. John's a couple of years ago. So he's a, he's a very mature kid for a for a young 2004. He's, he's very mature, um, gets along well with the kids who are older than him, fits in well. And um, when we did the tryouts, we looked at Liam as being an equal. Sometimes as an underager, you want him to be top two or you want him to be a top six forward. But we thought uh, Liam gelled well with the defensive core we had and the assets he has, such as his, his shot on the power play, really fit into what we were looking for in our D unit. Going forward, uh, after this season is over, uh, summer of training coming, but uh, tell me perhaps what, what might be your path? What's, what, what might be the next step for you in your, in your hockey journey? Uh, well, for next season, we're uh, looking at going to you know, a few prep schools or uh, going to Toronto and playing in the G GTHL. And uh, hopefully from there, go into uh, the queue.